the toughest uh, player you had to face in your entire college career? Uh, on the other side of the line here. There's been a lot of guys. You know, you, you've had your Ragpo, uh, Brian Ragpo from last year. And you've had a, you know, I went against uh, plenty of uh, guys that you know, were up there in Saxon. You know, but it, it's, it's all about this. all the game. You know, it's a competitive game. You're going to go against great players, but uh, it's really about how you respond. Uh, being part of Pete Carroll's first year and, and you know, being able to put a stamp on the team. Talk about how you look forward to working with Pete Carroll. I, I, I definitely want to. Okay, well, uh, it's, I can say it's a new era, even though it's, it's a new regime. And uh, you know, there's great things going on, and I, I believe it was a great day you know, for the organization. And I'm just hoping I can uh, play, uh, play a, a very uh, an important part you know, in what's going on. And, I just be a tool to them and they, they can use me as they will. And uh, wherever I can help, you know, and I can do my best, I'm going to go out there and do it. With proper protection, uh, Matt Hasselbeck can probably prove that he's not done and you can be a big part of that process. Do you look forward to helping, uh, you know, Matt prove that he's not done and show that he's still a pro bowler? Uh, then, you know, uh, not, not, not that we're teammates, you know, I'm going to want to see uh, you know, him uh, be at his best, you know, and I'm going to be part of that. Uh, not just me, but front five as well. And uh, I'm just looking forward to being out there and, uh, and uh, being held accountable for uh, whether it be protecting him on the left side or wherever I'm at. Some people considered you the best tackle in the draft. Were you surprised that you went six? Well, well people, people say a lot of things, but uh, the team before me made the decision. I, I believe uh, Seattle made the best decision they could today. How familiar are you with offensive uh, line coach Alex Gibbs and the zone blocking scheme? Uh, I've met him before, but I, I come from a zone blocking scheme uh, at, my, at my college, so it's, it's, it's not going to be anything new to me. I'm just going to take the coach to go with What about the home field advantage at Quest Field? That, that has to be something you're looking forward to. Oh, yeah. yeah. At least I, I can be on the good end of that. I don't have to try to you know, get, get off the good snap. But, uh, I, I, we play, I played in that stadium before, back in Oklahoma State, and I'm looking forward to that being my home. It's a lot yeah. of rain up there. Do you have a good heavy-duty raincoat? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm from Houston, and you know, oh, it's yeah, a lot. You know, so you know, all the humidity and uh, all, all the rain is nothing. You have a reputation of a mean streak inside the trenches. Is that something you take pride in? Yeah, that's an offensive line. But yes, sir, it is. Uh, you know, we want to be out there, you know, nasty guys that everybody hates. You know, but, you know hey, it's all right. You know. I don't look too bad, do I? <laughs> you spent the last few days with McCoy and Trent Williams. Did you guys all get along here, or are they giving you money talking smack? I don't know. We actually all got along. You know, uh, you, know, you, got, you got your helmets on, you know, the Bell and Robbery, and you really don't think you guys are going to you know, jail together. But, you know, they're great guys, and, and uh, I'm looking forward to what they're going to do in the future. Walter Jones may be the second Seahawk to ever be inducted into the Hall of Fame. How do you feel about following in those footsteps? And they're huge, you know, shoes to fill. Mm -hmm. If I could put, put them on, they'd probably be like a 20, size 23. But uh, he's, he's definitely a great player. And I, I hope, you know, I'm going to work my tail off to even be somewhat as good as he is.